Hey everybody, welcome back to the Dude's Kitchen and Grill. I'm your man, El Duderino, king of the slackers. And today we are finally doing that chicken sandwich I've been always yakking about. I know we're on like vlog number three and I still haven't made this chicken sandwich, but today we're gonna do it. I've been back to the place, Sid's Garage, three times just to make sure I have everything right. So today we're going to cook with some Uncle Steve's Sweet and the Spicer. You know I dig this stuff. And we're gonna cap this sandwich off with some slaw and yum yum sauce. All right, let's start on our chicken. The first thing we start with is just some boneless chicken thighs. I've already cut the fat off of it and all that unwanted junk that's on there and throw it in there because you don't wanna see that. Everybody knows how to do that. So I'm just taking some buttermilk, giving them a nice cover, taking some pickles Add some pickle juice in, cap it, and throw it into the fridge for up to four hours. This is the final result right here. As you can see, it's just chicken that's been in uh, buttermilk and pickle juice for four hours. Nothing major. All right, let's keep going. We're gonna dredge this chicken and I'm gonna dredge it through some panko breadcrumbs. A nice amount, I dig panko breadcrumbs. I'm gonna put some Uncle Steve's the Sweet and the Spicier in here. Now, if you wanted to make this even spicier, man, I'm telling you, I would probably go with some cayenne pepper in there. Let's give it a good mix. Definitely taste that Uncle Steve in there once we get everything ready. All right, that is ready. It's time to get our pan with hot oil ready. All right, well, our oil's up to about 350, 360 degrees. And if you don't have a thermometer, an easy way to tell if it's done, throw some breadcrumbs in there. And I don't know if you can see this or not, if it bubbles up, comes to the top, then you know you're pretty much done. So we're gonna take our chicken out and let it dry off a little bit. We do have kind of a straggler there. Get rid of him. Throw it into our breadcrumb and Uncle Steve mix. Give it a real good coat, right? Just real good. The thing is too, with the oil, is you want it up to 350 or, or a little bit higher because if it's not, then your breadcrumbs are gonna come off. If this were a thicker piece of chicken, I'd probably cut it as well. I'm gonna lay it in, let it cook away. That is a sound of beauty right there. Oh, look at our chicken here. Oh, it's looking good. Get a nice kind of a golden brown crisp to it. Now our chicken we want to get up to 165 degrees. And I don't even think it's going to be close at this point. Nah, it's only sitting at about 78 degrees. So we got a ways to go on this. But we don't want it to burn either. You want to be real delicate with it because you don't want those breadcrumbs to fall off. Mmm, man, that looks so good. While we're waiting for our chicken to come up to temp, I'm just going to grab myself another Michelob Ultra Pure Gold Seltzer. Not a sponsor, but I do like them. All right, I'm going to test the temp of the chicken. Oh yeah, that did the trick. That definitely did the trick. All right, let's remove this chicken. We're gonna let the chicken rest for a little bit. And while we're doing that, we're gonna clean up and start on our Asian slaw. It's Zoe Cam. Is it Zoe Cam? Oh, it's Zoe Cam. So we, so we. I'm just using the package slaw for this, and I'm using Marzetti coleslaw dressing. When I was a kid, I could not stand coleslaw, but. As an adult, I really enjoy a good coleslaw. And the most coleslaws that I enjoy are the ones that I make on my own. 
I make it home at least. I mean, I'm not going to make my own coleslaw from scratch, but you know, the ones I make at home. I like KFC coleslaw. That's really good. Um, you guys know my friend Kelly. She makes a killer coleslaw. There we go. I think that is just about right. Time to take our piece of bread. And I'm using a brioche bun for this. I'm just going to take my piece of chicken and throw a nice amount of slaw onto it. We're going to throw some yum yum sauce over it. The flies don't get away from it. Get out of here. And then we're going to throw some pickles over it. That, my friends, looks beautiful. Oh my goodness, check that out. I can hardly wait to try it. I'm gonna cut it in half though. Perfect. All right, let's, let's try it. Mm. That is perfect. It is spot on. Mm. 100% deliciousness. Damn. You saw how we made it. It's simple. The biggest thing is just make sure that that chicken is at 165 plus. 165 is the minimum because the last thing you want is to get sick off of chicken. I'll put the recipe down below as well. All right. Thanks everybody for st sticking it out with me. I appreciate it. If you would, please remember to comment, like, share, subscribe, ring that bell for notifications. I really do appreciate it. Special thanks to Patty Style Productions for editing this video. Patrick does a great job editing. I trust him with all my videos. All right. We'll talk to you soon. Remember the dude abides finally with that chicken sandwich. He kept promising everybody he would make on a brioche bun. Talk to you later guys. Mm. Wow.